Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, let's explore cross-linking and immunoprecipitation together. Cross-linking and immunoprecipitation, also known as CLIP, is a technique that combines ultraviolet cross-linking with immunoprecipitation. It's used in molecular biology to analyze protein-RNA interactions or pinpoint RNA modifications. Currently, CLIP is still in the research phase and has not yet been widely adopted in clinical settings. However, it holds vast potential for various applications in clinical research, including studying disease-related RNA-binding proteins, identifying biomarkers, assessing drug targets, and investigating gene regulation. The fundamental principle of CLIP is that under UV light exposure, covalent bonds form between nearby proteins and RNA molecules, occurring only at points of direct contact and preserving the interactions between RNA and proteins. The workflow of CLIP involves exposing tissues or cells to UV light, lysing cross-linked cells, and isolating the target protein through immunoprecipitation. RNA protein complexes are then separated from free RNA using gel electrophoresis and membrane transfer, followed by protease digestion to remove proteins from the complexes. This step leaves a peptide at the cross-linked site allowing for the identification of the cross-linked nucleotide. Currently, there are three commonly used CLIP methods. HITS CLIP, or CLIP-Seq, combines UV cross-linking, immunoprecipitation, and high-throughput sequencing to identify binding sites of RNA-binding proteins. PARCLIP employs photoactivatable, ribonucleoside-enhanced cross-linking and immunoprecipitation to determine binding sites of cellular RNA-binding proteins and ribonucleoprotein complexes containing microRNAs. Individual nucleotide resolution CLIP uses UV light to covalently bind proteins and RNA molecules for high-resolution identification of protein-RNA interaction sites. We've discussed quite a bit about the principles and applications of CLIP, so now let's dive into the detailed steps of a complete experiment using HITS CLIP as an example. Step 1. Ultraviolet cross-linking. Collect target tissues or cells, Place the tissue suspension into a 150 mm culture dish and position an ice box above the suspension to keep it cool. Crosslink cells with ultraviolet light at 400 mJ per square centimeter. Step 2 Cell lysis. Lyse the crosslinked cells to release RNA protein complexes. In the lab, a combination of chemical and mechanical lysis methods is typically used to break cells, ensuring high efficiency and preserving protein-RNA interactions. For chemical lysis, treat cells with a lysis buffer containing a non-ionic detergent such as Triton X100. This buffer disrupts cell membranes and releases biomolecules. For mechanical lysis, use sonication to further break cells and release their contents. Then, remove the cell debris by centrifugation and collect the supernatant. Step 3. Preparing the immunoprecipitation beads. Choose beads compatible with your antibody, such as protein A or protein G magnetic beads that match the antibody type and subtype. Step 4. Immunoprecipitation. Incubate the lysate with antibody-coated beads specific for the RNA-binding protein. The antibody will capture the protein RNA complexes, and the beads will make these complexes easier to separate from the remaining lysate. This will result in eluded RNA protein complexes. Step 5. SDS page gel and transfer. Use a 10% gel, run at 150 volts until the dye front reaches the bottom of the gel, and then transfer the gel onto a nitrocellulose membrane. After the transfer, Rinse the nitrocellulose with PBS, gently blot it dry with a paper towel, wrap the nitrocellulose in plastic wrap, and expose it to film. This way, the RNA protein complexes on the gel are transferred to the nitrocellulose membrane. Perform immunodetection on the proteins transferred to the membrane to ensure purity. Step 6. Cutting the cross-linked RNA protein complexes. The RNA protein complexes run as a combined molecular weight of the protein and RNA. Cut out this band with a scalpel, 
then cut the nitrocellulose pieces into smaller pieces and place them in a separate clean tube. Step 7. Reverse cross-linking. Add proteinase K solution to the separate clean tube, incubate for 20 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius with shaking, add PK7M urea buffer, incubate again for 20 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius with shaking, then centrifuge at high speed for 30 minutes using a cold centrifuge. Wash the pellet and use 75% ethanol to wash and dry the pellet. This process helps break the covalent bonds between RNA and protein, achieving reverse cross-linking. Step 8. cDNA Synthesis and PCR Further purify the DNA using methods such as phenol, chloroform extraction, resuspend in DP3, heat at 65 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, then reverse transcribe into cDNA and perform PCR amplification. Step 9. Sequencing the cDNA Performing 3-4 to four rounds of PCR amplification, process the reaction mixture using spin column desalting, and incubate at 72 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes to generate 3' prime ends for use in the topo cloning reaction. Step 10. High Throughput Sequencing Perform high throughput sequencing of the amplified cDNA to determine the binding sites of the RNA binding protein. Step 11. Data Analysis Analyze the sequencing DNA using bioinformatics methods including alignment, clustering, and search for binding sites to ultimately identify the precise binding sites of RNA binding protein. Now, let's discuss the unique aspects of this method. Due to the initial formation of covalent bonds between RNA and protein under the action of ultraviolet light, which is irreversible, the subsequent separation and purification steps of the RNA binding protein complexes employ efficient immunoprecipitation techniques to enrich protein complexes bound in RNA. This entire process reduces background noise, resulting in high sensitivity and accuracy in obtaining information about the actual protein binding sites, PBS, on RNA. Moreover, CLIP technology allows for the direct observation of protein-RNA interactions within cells, providing valuable biological insights that reflect true biological phenomena occurring in living organisms. So which products have fully utilized this interesting technology? Several kits are available on the market. RNA Immunoprecipitation Assay Kit, or RIP Assay Kit. This kit includes RIP Buffer, RIP antibody, and magnetic beads for conducting RIP experiments. ClipSeq kit, designed for the sequencing of RNA and RNA binding proteins. Clip antibody, used for protein immunoprecipitation, such as the anti-AGO2 antibody. High resolution clip kit, aimed at identifying RNA protein interaction sites with high resolution. Clip it RNA assay kit allows for the detection of RNA binding proteins within cells. Thank you all for listening, and we'll see you next time.